What's up? Uh, my name is Mercedes, and I play drums for a band called Kitty. Okay, uh, first let me ask a few questions about the album. Uh, for newer fans or people unfamiliar with your current work, how would you describe uh, In the Black and what sets apart from previous albums? In the Black is probably our most mature effort to date. Um, sonically and production wise, you know, uh, it's just we took um, three weeks in November of last year. And what was it this year? No, it was November of last year. Because November of this year hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Not yet. November of last year, and uh, right when we got home from Europe, and we took three weeks and recorded this behemoth of a record. It's um, really super heavy, but at the same time, very melodic. And I just think we've we've done we've outdone ourselves again. Very cool. Um, how long did this album take to come together? How much of it was written on the road, and how much of it was written in the studio? We don't. We don't really write on the road too often, um, or write in the studio. We kind of write when we have time off. It'll be, you know, uh, when we're not touring, we'll go and we'll, you know, write songs. Sometimes during sound check, <laughs> if we have a little bit of time, we'll, um, you know, jam out to a couple riffs that Morgan or Tara have, you know, in their back pockets or whatever. And we'll. We'll usually just, you know, come up with ideas, but really, for the most part, everything happens when we're at home. Okay. Uh, one problem I did find with the last couple of records is more of a production and mixing thing. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, totally. Until the end, I sometimes felt that a lot of the vocals in the album were a bit too low, whereas, like, the instrumentation wouldn't be up louder, but whenever Morgan was singing, you couldn't really hear it as much, but she growled, you could hear it. Uh, funeral for yesterday, I found that sometimes the instrumentation felt a little muddy and a little bit low at times. Yeah, you, yeah. you heard a lot of kick. You heard uh, some solos here and there, but it just was kind of like off. Yeah, for sure. And um, that's the one thing I have found with the new record is like everything is completely clear. You hear every note, every song, every uh, vocal song, everything. And uh, also in finding out and reading up about this record, that you guys worked with Siegfried Meyer, who worked on Oracle as yeah. a third engineer. So. Uh, did, have, did having a familiar face around for the album's production help with the recording by making things easier for you guys, given that he's familiar with the band and you know how you want to sound live? Yeah. And, yeah. Well, I, on top of Siggy being, um, you know, familiar with the band and such, we're also friends. Like, he lives in London, or he did live in London at one point. And, uh, you know, I every time I go out, I always see him, you know what I mean? So um, it definitely helped, you know, because he kind of knew what we wanted to get out of this record and what we wanted to accomplish and he was on the same boat whereas you know a lot of people have their own ideas about what they want us to sound like yes. and it usually you know the artist knows best <laughs> like 99% of the time yeah so I mean you know uh, you know, somebody listened to us for once, and uh, the album turned out great. Weird. <laughs> it did, actually. It was a really, really good record. Yeah. It's right now, like, my favorite Kitty record since Oracle. Oracle blew me away when I first heard it. It's a great record. And, like, this, in my mind, when I heard it, um, kind of drew me back to Oracle in the sense that, like, Spit was a certain way, and then you get Oracle, which is, like, one of the heaviest records I'd heard, from, especially from you guys at the time. And then with the last record being kind of, not necessarily commercial sounding, but more commercial like. And, and, that, and that, but the thing is, is like with, with, with saying that, like I, I realize where you're coming from, yeah. but those songs translate completely different live yes. on Funeral. Like they're heavy. They're really heavy songs. Yeah. And they're not meant to be like that. It's just the way it's recorded. It's recorded and it sounds like poop. <laughs> and what's funny is you can hear that even on the record that yeah the songs are in another setting would definitely be really heavy but as you said it's definitely a recording thing with that and you know but um and that leads me to another question because the recording of Funeral for Yesterday came off the way it did and it sounds a certain way was there a conscious thing especially working with uh, the producer you work with to go in a heavier direction than that or did it just kind of happen? <sighs> In a sense, I guess it did just kind of happen, but we did set out to be have this record be the complete antithesis of this album, yeah. or of Funeral for Yesterday. That's what we wanted to achieve. We wanted to kind of, you know, make a heavy record, but at the same time, the songs turned out the way they did, not because we were like, oh, well, we're going to write this, you know, make it 
crazy heavy. It was just kind of, they just kind of, I don't think when we write songs we set out to do anything but, you know, uh, write a song. Okay. Uh, so far, uh, after recording a record and you've played, I'm guessing, almost the entire record live at some point in time. Not in this entirety, but different tracks. Yeah. Uh, so far, what are your favorite tracks that you recorded and what are your favorite tracks to play live? Wow. Um, favorite tracks to play live. You know, actually, we haven't played a whole lot. We've maybe we've maybe played like eight songs from the new record live. Mm -hmm. There's a couple songs that we haven't we haven't done yet, but we will be because this is the first tour that we've done on this album. Yeah. Uh, but we will be switching up the set list shortly. But um, wow, recording. I think Sora. I know both recording and live. Those are great songs to play, in my opinion. Yeah. I have a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, what songs haven't you played live and why not yet? Uh, oh, Jesus. We haven't played Now or Never Live. We haven't played... I don't know. I really... I don't know. There's so many songs. Do you, do you have the album with you? I uh, no. You. Sad. I do. Well, yeah, I do. Here. <laughs> oh, man. You haven't played Now or Never Live? No. Oh, my God. This song is awesome. Oh, yeah. It was, a. Uh... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the songs that we haven't played live. Because there's a lot of them. I'm trying to find it now. Yeah, yeah, you guys gotta play a lot. That song is like really awesome. <laughs> but, uh, that's that's like, yeah, the song uh, "Now or Never" that actually was a joke song that turned into a real song. Um, here you go. Um, yeah, we haven't played. Do you page down? Yeah, uh, the the little middle section. You just kind of like scroll okay. down on it. Yeah. We haven't played "Now or Never." Uh, sleepwalking, we haven't played live yet. Ready and Riot, or The Truth. Oh my god, you've like missed like two of my favorite songs on there. I oh, know. <coughs> oh, Ready and Riot is like, that's sick. <laughs> I like that song too. Oh. Th we'll play it again. We'll okay, it. good. That's, that's good. I promise. If I have to travel to Canada to see it, Not I'm tonight, though, I'm sorry. Oh, well, if I have to travel to Canada, I'm <laughs> up for doing so for that. Um, you guys have had Ivy in the band for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, has. And when recording a record with her, as opposed to touring with her, is it has it become really comfortable because she has been in the band for two years, or does she still feel kind of like, this is the newest member, so we're still breaking her in, or...? Nah, I don't think there's really any breaking in period. I mean, it's just, with us, we're just kind of like, man, whatever, you know, you go, you go play whatever you gotta play, <laughs> and, like, that's, we're just, you know, laid-back people. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Oh. Okay. Um... Also, I've been watching a lot of live videos and uh, the performances of the current live, as well as listening to the new record. It's definitely one of the tightest lineups Kitty has had, really. It's a really, really tight lineup. Are there any chances of making like a live album or a live concert video or anything? Yes. Hopefully. We're looking at it. Okay. I like how that sounds. 